Hello, hello, Mona's Jews. Today is the day. Today is terrific Tuesday, or some would say testimonial Tuesday. And I'm just feeling really inspired to come on here and do some videos. You know, um, it's raining here, dreary. And sometimes, you know, the weather has something to do with your moves, right? I woke up this morning. And I said, you know what? I'm going to do some lives or some videos, I should say. I'm so used to saying lives because I do lives on Facebook. I love to encourage and motivate people. And again, as I was just saying earlier on the um, video that I made about purpose, what is one thing that makes you happy where's your happy place at where's your happy place and this morning i was up thinking about that i said you know what hmm where is your happy place what makes you feel good what makes you happy and i remember when i was suffering from depression and anxiety I was happy when I was eating. That was one of the things. I was happy when I was eating. But that's not a happy place. My happy place was when I first moved out into my own place at the age of 18. Good life. Happy place. From there, I went to a different country, which was Germany. Very happy place. From there to Florida, another happy place. So I sat and said, hmm, how many happy places can you have? You can have a lot, right? But the ones that sticked out to me the most was... My first place in Kansas, second place, Germany. I think I left my happy places, those two places. I have always been a quiet, shy, content to myself type of person. And it seemed like when I left Germany, oh my goodness. I wish I could have still been over there. I know times have changed and people change and everything. But that's okay. Because I had a good time then. That was a happy place. So I'm asking if you uh, subscribe to my channel, share this video. You can comment down below. I want to get a conversation going. And I'm trying to help you because this is helping me. Everyone needs someone to talk to. Everyone needs to be happy. It's not all about tears all the time. And just think in the back of your mind, where's your happy place? Or where was your happy place? Or where did you lose your happy place? Work on your happy place. Find your happiness. Don't give up on being happy because you deserve to be happy. You are a precious gem. And our gems sometimes get hidden, right? Mm -mm. Bring that gem back. Find your happy place. Me talking to you is my happy place. It's another happy place for me. I done talked com uh, uh, comfort and cause so, so many people. And I'd be broken in pieces. But it's a happy place to see someone happy. It's a reflection of 
you want someone to feel good because you want to feel good. Find your happy place. I love what I do. I want everyone to get their happy place back. Don't be sad. Don't suffer alone. Don't cry. But you know what? Hmm. Crying is not a bad thing. I would rather cry a river than to think to do something I ain't I'm not supposed to do. Right? Cry. But you get tired of crying. All my videos, you're gonna see I'm a very expressive person. That's why I wanna be. This is how I want my videos and to be. Transparent, open, and expressions. <laughs> Being natural. That's what it is. The more natural you are reaching out to people, you'd be surprised. Since I've been making these um, videos, yesterday someone messaged me. And told me, thank you. Not just one person had messaged me and said, I needed this. This was right on time. Don't nobody know what you're going through. But me expressing myself and sharing these videos and talking about it. You have to go through something to be able to, you know, so and talk to someone. I want to be that person. I don't want to see no one always broken and crying and suffering in silence. I know so many people. As I said in one of my videos, a family member of mine cut her life short. She, it was a woman. We don't know what people's going through. It doesn't mean that they are being abused in a relationship. It could be things past trauma. That's the thing. Trauma. What was the trauma that made you fall into a dark space? What was it? We all have different stories. No one's story is the same. We all are uniquely different. You share your story, I share my story. It's not about me when I want to listen to you. But if you ask me something and then I ask you something, it's about us helping each other. I say this story, no one is meant to be alone. Why you think the most high God made us for man, man for woman. We're not meant to be alone. Some people don't have a mother, father, grandmother, no family members. I had taken care of this lady. She was dear to my heart. CNA, nurse's assistant, certified nurse's assistant. And she never married. She never had a child. She had one living relative one and they was up in age two and I would go Monday through Friday 7 to 12 to take care of her in assisted living facility and she had shared with me and told me she said you know what if I could change something I wish I had had a child and been married she was 93 years old she loved me. And my mom, when she was living, she used to say, do you know if she's still living? In my heart and mind, she is, even though she might not be. I never wanted to know that. 
I didn't show up at work one time because I was sick or something like that. I forget, or I had to take care of something important. And she said, where was you? She loved me. She didn't want no one else to take care of her. She needed somebody, and I was there for her. She trusted me. I'm talking about trust. That's what I'm trying to say. We got to trust each other with her checkbook. She would write a check, go get me this at the store. She like little snacks and stuff like that. So that's what I'm trying to do. So if you see this video or subscribe to my channel, please share it. Spread it. Because we all are going through something. Everybody. Sometimes people just put that makeup, I call it, or mask over their face. And some people can handle it differently. I get that. But if you're one of those people that doesn't do good under pressure, stress, and stuff, you need someone. Everyone needs someone. But also, I can turn it around. Don't settle. Don't stay, be somewhere where you're not happy. You get mistreated. So again, I am Mona's Jewels. My daughter calls me Mona Lisa. You are a gem. A hidden gem. And if you don't feel like you are that gem, that's because you need to bring that shine back up out of you to shine bright like a diamond. We are a gem. So to me, you are a jewel. So let's get our happy place back. I hope everyone have a terrific, terrific, Happy place, shiny, bright, Tuesday. And you will see this face again. Find your happy place. You are a hidden gem. Remember that.